Welcome to Let's Be Real 100%, where we are 100% real about life. We know that life happens and we are here to talk about it. And when I say we, I'm talking about it's all God and little old me. Join us as we jump into our topic today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good people. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Be Real 100% when we are 100% real about life. This is your girl, Sean, coming with you again with another random episode. Just something, now uh, forgive me for the background again. I am at the mall, so they, of course, they got the Christmas music going on and everything else. But this is just a random uh, video. Um, no video. <laughs> a random um, recording. Um, this video is just about to like get to know me tags. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever done one on here. I done one on YouTube, but I don't think I did one on my podcast. But just little random questions I got from the intro next. I have not read them all, so I don't know what they consist of. So this should be interesting. Um, so number one is what are my hobbies? My hobbies are writing, reading, family time, um, not too, too much, I haven't went out in a while, but, you know, pretty much just writing and reading are my two, um, have, uh, hobbies, um, and then, of course, you know, family and all that, family and friends. Um, number two is, do I collect anything? I collect money. <laughs> As the, the faster I collect it, the faster I can be good to go. But yeah, no, like as far as like rocks and cards and stuff like that, no, I don't. Um, they got a bathroom in there. Um, what am I passionate about? Hmm, I'm passionate about God. Number one, straight across the board. Um, there's nothing um higher than that for sure. Um, I would love to learn about God and you know, his attributes and, you know, what his word says. Um, I'm passionate about kids. Um, for some reason, I always tend to bring a lot of kids with me. <laughs> they, um, I love just, you know, um, being around kids. I don't know why, but I do. Because um, they're, they're, you know, they're young. You know, they're, they're teachable. I guess I would say. Um, also passionate about, of course, writing, um, which is another, what's another hobby of mine. Um, I love writing. Um, what is my most prized possession? My family. That's all I'm gonna say. From from least to greatest, the oldest to least. From um, yeah. So that's my um, position, greatest possession. Um, my greatest accomplishment in life uh, was giving my life to God, first of all. Uh, secondly, um, completing books uh, that I've done. Thirdly, um, trying to do better by making friends and being sociable. I feel like that's a really big accomplishment of mine because I'm not really social. I'm going to play the background really quick, fast. Um, people who know me knows that, but I'm trying to do better. So, um, what is on my bucket list? I want to travel, but I'm a little scared now. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, a lot of stuff going on in the world. So sorry, I had a quick pause. Um, my bucket list, like I said before, um, is to travel. Uh, it's a lot going on in the world, but I do want to see the world before my time is up. I believe the Lord made this world a very, very beautiful place. So um, I just want to see it. Um, my favorite recent memory. <laughs> my favorite recent memory. Um Honestly, I really, I don't know. It's so many just, you know time with family, you know, and friends and the ministry, you know, spending time, you know, with people um, is a very, 
Um, it's a good moment for me. Uh, what is my best childhood memory? Oh boy. Um, I honestly don't know. Um, I would when I was younger, I used to travel back and forth from Arkansas to Dallas. Um, just because my biological dad stayed in Dallas and my mom stayed in Arkansas. Um, so I would travel a lot. Then every second weekend, uh, with me, my bonus dad, my mom, and other bonus siblings, we used to go out to the mall and walk around the mall every weekend. So I guess that's a memory. Um, for my childhood, um, my favorite holiday, I don't think I have a favorite holiday, honestly. I really don't celebrate holidays. I just think, you know, you can do whatever holiday it is. You can do that on a daily basis. On Halloween, I can eat candy. Christmas, I can give a present each day of the year. Valentine's, I can say I love you all day. Um, all the other holidays, I can't name. But, yeah, I mean, you could do that anytime, you know, so it's really not, you know, man. Anyway. Um, who knows me best? You know what? I really don't know. Because honestly, I don't even know if I know myself that much, but I only can take that back. God knows me the best. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. God knows me best. Um, what family member are, am I closest to? Oh boy, I'm not going to answer that question because I'm, I'm just not honestly learning how to get close to people. Uh, even family members. In friends, I've been, um, I'm not going to say isolated, but, you know, I've been to myself a lot lately. Um, so I'm not going to answer that question. Again, I'm, I'm going through these questions and I don't even know <laughs> what the questions are. Uh, what skill would you most like to learn? Um, I would like to sew clothes. I would like to learn how to sew, just as a personal state, not... To be out in pub, you know, have a a line, I guess, if that makes sense. Where's the coolest place you've traveled? Oh, nowhere. <laughs> I've been to Dallas. I'm in Missouri, so this is the first time for me. Arkansas is the most, it's the beautiful, most beautiful place I've been. Um, not Newport, but all other places. Um, I've been to Oklahoma. Oh, Florida. I did go to Florida uh, with my church family, which was awesome. Um, so yeah, that was a cool place to be in. What does your average weekend look like? Oh, work and kids. Family. Yeah, family. Family. <laughs> ministry. Family. I call everybody my family. My ministry and my blood family. All of it's family to me. Um, tell me about the longest running friendship with someone. You know, did y'all really have to ask that question? <laughs> <laughs> just say, didn't I just say I was trying? Um, I have a high school friend. I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know how you know how she liked those things. But we've been friends for a while now. It's been off and on since we left high school. But yeah, um, we're pretty cool. Uh, let's do a couple more. I'm not gonna do all of these. Let me scroll through. Um. When did I first feel like an adult? Is when I first, well, I was an adult, but I had to grow up quickly because, you know, a hard head, stubborn, rebellion teenager, I became a parent early. So yeah, I had to learn how to grow up quickly. Uh, let's see, one more question. Tell us an embarrassing story. I think that I have a lot of embarrassing stories. Um, but one, <laughs> since I'm sitting in the mall, I had flashback. I did, um, I was walking with my parents, I think, or my siblings, one or the other, when we was at the mall. And I literally tripped over nothing. I don't know what I tripped over. It was just air, you know, I fell and everybody was a lot of people in the mall. So I tried to pop up quickly. I don't know how quick I did, but you know, people were looking and I would have to, <laughs> Hurry up, and I tried to play it off by me tying my shoe. Then I had splats on, so it wasn't working. So, yeah, that's one of those days. Um, And let's see. 
Um, um, let's see. One more question. I have a lot of questions on here. I might have to do another one just because. Um, I know a lot of people who know me like the, know the movies I know. I love by heart. Um, superhero, just the basic questions. My favorite artist is Tamla Mann. Um, do you believe that people can change? Yes, I do believe that people can change. It is a choice. God gave us a free will to do things. Um, even though he regretted it, um, people do have a chance to be a certain way. Um, your character, genetics, I know everything comes from your parents and stuff like that, but you have a choice to be the way you are. And if you want to change, change for you, not nobody else. Um, but yeah, there's a whole lot more questions on here that I might come back to one day just for fun. Um, I might even do a couple of interviews with other people, um, to have the ask these questions. Um, cause there's like, oh my God, it's like, I like, I'm gonna like this website. It's 254 questions on here, which I don't have time for 254 questions. Um, but yeah, this is just a random, random, uh, video. Just wanted to do a get to know me tag. I know I did my very first YouTube video. It was a get to know me tag. It was pretty cool, you know. I wasn't these questions, but it was different questions, um, normal questions. But if you want to, you know, you can always follow me on YouTube, um, um, be you, uh, be you, be real, um, under Sean Harden, um, Follow me on Clappers as um, you can look up my name. I think Sean Harding or Sean is real um, or let's be real. And then on here, I'm always here. I try to be here as much as I can, but it's been a while since I posted. I got to do better. Um, I just don't want to come on here and just, you know, say just any and everything. You know what I mean? Um but, uh, you know, there are some things that I'm scripting out, so I will be posting some more this weekend. Um, but I just figured I would come on here and just do a little fun video. I mean, a fun fun post. Uh, but, again, thank you again for coming to listen to me again on Let's Be Real 100%. Uh, we are definitely 100% real about life. Um, every story is real. Every scenario is real. Everything on here will be real. Um, if you want to share your story of any kind, any sort, um, please let me know. You can get me on the Facebook and Instagram, YouTube. Okay. No, you're fine. Oh. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so you can uh, follow me on YouTube or anywhere. Uh, just let me know if you want to share your story or anything like that. Um, that may help you or me or anyone else that may be uh, going through some issues and trials. Because I don't know every story. I don't know everybody's story. Um, somebody's story, may, of course, is different from mine. Um, but again, you know how to reach me. It's your girl, Sean, coming at you again. Let's be real 100%. Y'all have a great and blessed day. Welcome, everyone, to Healing Your Day Toys Podcast. We want to come on really quick fast to um, thank Anchor for allowing us to do podcasts on their platform. It is a really, really good platform to where you can remotely record your podcast if one if your friend is on the other side of the world and you're on one side you're able to record and then you're able to um do your edits you're able to make it sound the way you want it to be make it sound the background music is awesome um anchor is a really good platform to have um go if you want to start your podcast or anything like that um go to anchor and it will give you everything that you need
Thank you for listening to Let's Be Real 100% when we're 100% real about life. We hope that you enjoyed the topic today and we hope that you trust God more and more each day. And we hope to see you next week.